the important questions of the F FTRE exam 2019 class 8. So this is paper 2 section 1 physics part A question number 6. So let's start with the solution. So as you can see a player takes 0.1 seconds in catching a ball a mass 100 gram moving with a velocity of 20 meter per second. The force imparted by the ball on the hand of the player is. So we have to find the force when the player catches the ball. So let's apply the formula which is equal to V is equal to U plus A T. Because force is equal to mass into acceleration and the acceleration is not given. So V is our final velocity, U is our initial velocity and A is our acceleration, T is our time. So V, it's a final velocity which is 0. Because when you catch the ball, the velocity of the ball is 0. U is the initial velocity which is given 20 meter per second. A we don't know. And time is 0 0.1 seconds. So A is equal to minus 20 upon 0 0.1. And A is equal to minus 200 meter per second square. If you are thinking why is the acceleration negative, then because the ball, it, it had earlier velocity of 20 meter per second, but it decreased to zero. So the acceleration will be negative because the ball's velocity is deaccelerating. So that's why it's a negative. But while calculating the force, which is equal to mass into acceleration, we will neglect the negative sign. So mass is equal to 100, 1000, because force can never be in negative, into the acceleration, which is 200, neglecting the negative sign. So uh, this is 20 Newton. Correct option B. This is question number 15 of paper 2, Mathematics part C. So, let's start with the solution. So, as you can see, there are irrational numbers in the denominator. So, we have to rationalize the denominator. In rationalizing these type of denominators, root A minus root B, we will take root A a plus b because a minus b into a plus b is equal to a square minus b square. So we multiply both the numerator and de denominator by root 100 plus root 99. 1 multiplied by this is equal to, equal to the same thing which is root 100 plus root 99 and root 100 So, a minus b into a plus b is equal to a square minus b square. So, 100 square is equal, root 100 square is equal to 100 and root 99 square is equal to 99 which makes 1. So, this leaves us with root 100 plus root 99. In the same way, in this, this will leave us with root 99 plus root 98. By this, the, by this same calculation, minus root 99 plus root 98. So, root 100 plus root, sorry. So, sorry, so root 100 plus root 99 minus root 99 minus root 98. So, root 99 and root 99 gets cut, root 100 minus root 98. So, in the same way, this will get reduced to root 98 plus root 97. So, we will add it to the... So, as you can see, the 98 which was left from the earlier equation will be will get cut here 
and the same way 97 will also get cut and 96 and 95 and follow so we'll only be left with root 100 in the starting now let's get to the end so so as you can see this is root root 2 minus root 1 and there's a plus sign so we can assume that the earlier number would be root 3 minus root the earlier number would be root 3 minus root 2 because th that's the series which has been followed so this would be the earlier number and a negative sign would be before it because there's a positive sign here and this would be the whole equation root 2 minus root 1 and before this would be 1 upon root 3 root 4 minus root 3 so these would be the last three num numbers so this will become this will become root 4 plus root 3 minus root 3 plus root 2 plus root 2 minus root 1 so root 4 plus root 3 minus root 3 minus root 2 plus root 2 minus root 1 so, oh sorry plus root 1 minus minus gets cut this will get cancelled and root 4 will be cancelled by the previous one which would be root 4 root 6 plus root 5 so this will be also get cancelled so we'll cancel it so finally we'll be left with only root 1 and root 100 so root 100 plus root 1 which is equal to 10 plus 1 which is equal to 11 so the correct option is D. So this is question number 27 of paper 2, section 2, physics part A. So let's start with the solution. So the question asks us to find the equivalent resistance between A and B points. So, so as you can see, we will just assume A as our starting point. So the current through A will go through here and reach here. So we'll stop here and find the equivalent resistance still here. This is 10 ohm and 10 ohm in series and 10 ohm in parallel. So in series it's R1 plus R2 plus R3 is equal to R equivalent. And in parallel it is 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 is equal to 1 by R equivalent. So here 10 plus 10 is in ohm. 10 and 10 is R in series. So we will say take it as 10 plus 10 and which is equal to 20. And this is in parallel with 20 ohm. So 1 by 20 plus 1 by 10 is equal to 1 by which is equal to sorry 20 and 1 and plus 2 3 by 20 but this is 1 by r equivalent so r equivalent is equal to 20 by 3 then continuing and continuing it Continuing it, sorry, we'll get this, we'll just write it here so that we remember. So we got 20 by 3 ohm till here. Now we continue the circuit. This is 10 ohm plus 10 ohm in series, which is 20 ohm. And another 10, and these 10 ohms are in parallel. So we'll take it out. I've written the formula here. 1 by 10 plus 1 by 10, 1 by R equivalent, which is equal to 2 by 10, 
which is equal to one bar equivalent and R equivalent R equivalent is equal to 5. So the now we have reduced this to a series circuit. So we'll add it to the 20 ohm which we calculated earlier. So 20 ohm, 20 ohm plus 5 ohm is equal to 25 ohm. So now we had we have done this and this. Now the total resistance we will we will add it to this because we have reduced all of this to a series. A simple series circuit with 25 ohm and 23 ohm. So we will add both of these to get the final result. So let's see. 25 ohm plus 20 upon 3 ohm is e So LCM will be 3. 75 plus 20 and that's 95 by 3 ohm. And that's our answer. The correct option is C. 95 by 3 ohm. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below and share this video. Please encourage me to do more videos and bring more awesome content to you.